If you aren't able to make it to Browning Field for a Moline football game on Friday nights, one of the next best options is listening to the game on the radio. And as TV6's Evan Denton explains, Maroons fans are able to do that thanks to a young, local, aspiring sports broadcaster. Evan. Grand Dalshan is too young to drive or even vote, but he's already established himself as a name to know in sports broadcasting. Good evening and welcome to Moline Maroons football on QC Sportsnet. On Friday nights during football season, high above Browning Field is play-by-play -play announcer Grant Dahlstrom. You only get to live once, so you might as well have that better opportunity. You might as well have that best opportunity to get the uh, bigger level, and the only way to do that is to get experience. Dahlstrom is just 13 years old, but already has years of experience broadcasting on YouTube. Something I want to do for my future, so why not start young? The ability to be part of the excitement for games that I get to broadcast. Here's a give up the middle, physical running through the line, and he is in. Touchdown, Maroons. That's when an opportunity presented itself in the form of local sports platform QC Sportsnet. To say he has polished well beyond his years is an understatement. I, I, tell you, I say he's kind, of, he's kind of our unicorn, you know, because you don't usually find broadcasters anywhere near this young who have that much ability. Here's Phelps, he'll drop back to pass, looking right, fires end zone, and it's caught in the end zone for Maroon's touchdown. Dahlstrom says his play-by-play -play style is a combination of a few different announcers, including the Cubs' Boog Shiambi. His preparation for a Moline game doesn't start the day of, but days before. Well, usually I get sent the rosters around Tuesday or Wednesday, so then I start um, doing some research on the big players like the running backs, quarterbacks, um, and like the leading receivers. Um, I get stats sent to me later on in the week as well, so then I put that into the roster and um, they all kind of just mesh together. He doesn't miss a beat, and when that microphone goes on and it's time to talk, you can tell that he's ready. And similar to other well-known broadcasters, Dahlstrom is constantly looking for areas where he can improve. Be more descriptive, saying the score more and all that. You can't teach somebody to just be a good play-by-play -play announcer. They have to have a gift, and he's got the gift, you know, 10 times over. Snap, he'll drop back, pressure coming in, and he's knocked down for a loss. Taking my job one day for sure, Grant says he tries to bring the energy on the broadcast so that listeners can get the full game day experience. That's what it's all about, Ev. Thank you. And Dahlstrom says down the line, his dream is to call a big sporting event like the World Series or the Super Bowl, and he's well on his way to it.